All right, guys, so this has to be one of the biggest porgies I've ever caught. Let's take a look at this thing. Compared to this one, whoo, he's a fatty. And I caught him this morning at 7.30 when I was just leaving the park. I felt my rod moving and I decided to bring it in and he gave me a hell of a fight, but I brought him in. I'm gonna be showing you today how to clean a porgy if you're gonna be cooking it whole. So, the first thing I do, I take my scissors and the very first thing that I do is I cut these bad boys at the top off to get them out the way that way I can hold the fish properly while I'm scaling him because you ever gotten joked with one of those bad boys oh my god that's what happened to my finger and my finger blew up in a couple days huge then we're gonna cut this off right here just to get these off next side right here I'm gonna cut these off then we're gonna cut these off look at him he's upset take a look at him why did you have to bring me home <laughs> because I'm hungry that's why and we're gonna cut this off right here now the next thing that I do I go down to the belly to the opening right there and I cut all the way up to the mouth and once I do that normally when I'm at the place I rip out his gills and stuff like that and but I'm just doing it right here now this is all his guts right here you rip all of that out look at all that his entire guts you rip it out looks like he had nothing in his stomach so we just clean it out clean out everything okay and the next thing that I do is I hold him and I use my knife to scale him. I just put him down and I scale him. Now, the reason why I'm holding him down in the sink is because if you hold it up, hold him up too high, you might get the scales all over the place. As you can see, even though I'm holding him, holding him down, some of the scales is still flying all over the place. I need to get a scaler. So I can scale them but I usually just use my knife anyway and it comes out pretty good now I don't fillet porgies because I don't feel like it's enough meat to fillet on a porgy to fillet him so I, I normally don't fillet a porgy I just um cook him whole and eat it like that and I like my porgies either steamed or fried. But today I'm gonna do something different with him. I'm gonna, I, well, you guys will see. So get all the scales off right there. Next side. Now you see, if I had all of the things on top of here, if I was holding it, it would have been joking me. But the fact that I don't, it's much more easier for me to just scale it off like that. Hold them right there and scale them off. Somebody, people always call at the wrong time. Hold it down. Scale them right off. Get all those scales off of them right there. Make sure the other side is clean of scales. He's gonna be delish. Look at that. No scales. All the scales are gone. 
And that's from using, using a knife. Sure you get down here also they have some right there just to get them off and let's rinse them down now I tend to rinse them after I get the scales off because if you rinse it before what it does is after he's on that ice and he's all a little bit frozen the water kind of loosen him up a little bit and it's really hard for you to hold it properly and get the scales off so i tend to rinse them off after i get the scales off because it's much more easier and it's less time consuming as opposed to rinsing it off then scale it which i know a lot of people do because they they, they sometimes be like oh it's coming out of water and that's nonsense it's better you just scale it first and then rinse it off so there we go all scales off all the guts are out we're gonna wash them down season them and put them in the pot i'll be right back guys okay guys so here we go so i'm gonna take i'm gonna do something i've never done before okay Something I've never ever done before. I'm gonna actually do right now. And um, I'm hoping that it comes out actually good. But I'm, I'm sure it will. I'm gonna, gonna give it a shot anyway. So this is what I'm gonna put on here, okay? All right, we have a little bit of um, Larry seasoned salt, okay, inside. To me, inside is really what counts because when you bite into that fish, especially right there at the corner, oh my God, it's so good. You want to taste that flavor, okay? And I'm going to put a little black pepper. Black pepper is what actually makes the fish up, makes, give the fish that taste that you love so much. I love black pepper on fish. Then... I have a little bit of um, garlic powder. I like garlic powder. Garlic powder is good. I'm gonna put that on there. I'm not gonna put too much um, seasoning on there. I think this is gonna be the last one. Okay. Then, this is a big, look at that. Big porgy, jumbo porgy. All right. So now, what I'm going to do, this is my favorite jerk sauce to use right here. Grace, I'm gonna Dip in here, take some of that guy, put right there. That's as much as we need. Okay. Rub it all over the fish. All over the fish. And normally, when you put jerk sauce on something, you let it marinate. But I'm not going to do that today because I can't wait to eat. I'm very hungry. Okay. So the jerk sauce is all over the fish. Okay. There we go. So there's my pot. Okay. I'm going to throw a little butter. Okay. some carrots right here put my carrots in let me turn the stove down put my carrots in okay very good got my scallions right here put my scallions in okay And what I'm going to do, 
put a little bit of onions in there even though sometimes when you add scallions you don't really need onions because they're from the same family but I'm just putting a bit of um, onions in there I'm gonna turn that baby around I know y'all gonna say tomatoes but Tomatoes is good for making gravy. I like tomatoes, no matter what. So I, I'm just putting a little tomatoes in there. This is something different. Yes, I know. This is something different that being done, never been done before with jerk sauce. So here we go. Okay, and we're just gonna stir that bad boy up. Okay. up for a little bit <laughs> sorry guys my son is out there making a whole bunch of noise so all right so now he's at the door actually he just opened the door <laughs> all right okay all right you're disturbing daddy but that's okay so I'm gonna put some scotch bandit pepper in there right give it a little bit of spice no don't pull the camera thing pull the um Give it a little bit of spice. No, Jemai, I didn't call you. Oh, kids, when you have kids, there's but so much that you can do. And we're gonna cover that back up for a second. Look at all that good stuff. All right, so now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the fish, we're gonna drop him in right there yum this one is kind of big I should have cut him in two but I'm not he'll still fit in the pot just like that all right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna catch a little tip of water should have been vinegar because vinegar would make the jerk sauce pop but that's okay so a little tip of water and I'm just gonna Pour it right in and over. Get everything down there. There we go. Good. Now, this is all for me. This isn't for anyone. Just me. Because no one wants to eat the fish. I don't know why. Everyone is like so into the Jamaican other stuff so here we go we're just gonna cover him up and let the fire do its thing be right back so my son is still in here but there we go there you have it ladies and gents this is almost done and look at that the only thing I don't like about this is that it's sticking to the pan. Even though I put the butter in there, it's still sticking. And it shouldn't... Jaleel, stop! Stop! Okay, there you have it, ladies and gents. Yum. Look at that sauce on the fish. The fish is nice and fluffy. It's going to be tasting good. It's sticking to the pan, even though I put the butter in, in there. And that's one thing I don't like, that it's sticking to the pan. But it's still going to be yummy anyway. Alright, so I'll let it simmer for a few more minutes. And then I'll serve it up on a plate. Yum. So guys, the fish broke when it fell out the pot, but I got a little bit of rice and peas right there. Uh, the plate looked a hot mess, and I apologize for that because the fish is a little bit big, but I just wanted to put it on a paper plate because I'm being lazy today. I don't want to wash any dishes tonight. But yeah, but I'm pretty sure it tastes good. I tasted a piece, and it was very, very tasty. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this and learned something from it. God bless.